What it is and what it ain't, I'm going to let y'all know what I think, man. Make sure y'all hit that post notification bell button for brand new content. This your boy Goldmouth Shorty. Let me get straight down to business. Hey, man, we got that boy a little scrappy in the news headlines today. Man, we got to talk about it because I remember back in the days when he had first came out and he was doing a little tour, he had got all his teeth broke out of his mouth and uh, a lot of people not aware of that, but it all happened. Early in his career, after he had uh, came out with his first few tapes, he had done uh, got on the road, and you know he had a manager, and they was doing like some standard contract stuff where they was charging like fifty five hundred six bands for a uh, little scrappy to come, and they had a whole bunch of uh, clause in the contract to where they get bottles and rooms and everything get treated like a king, but. They got booked up in a little town, man. It's called Okoye. Okoye, Florida is outside of uh, Orlando, about 12 miles. You know what I mean? It's not that far from Jacksonville or Apaca, Florida. But that's where the booker booked them at, the promoter. And, you know, young Scrappy, little Scrappy, he seen that it was red flags when he got to the hotel that it wasn't a hotel, it was a motel. And when he got in there, it was nothing but rats and roaches in the motel. So he was like, dang, man, we got to get this money. So he stayed at the motel, and then he hooked up with the promoter on his way to the club. And you know what I mean? He was ready to get his bottles, and the promoter just pulled up to the cheap liquor store and grabbed $30 bottles and handed him his liquor before he went in the club. And he was like, man, what's going on? We're supposed to buy our liquor from the uh, club, our bottles. This dude buying it right in my face. And the G-Unit uh, South Superstar, Lil Scrappy, said, man, to his promoter, we're going to still do the show, man, because the fans came to see us. So the uh, the manager was ready to back out. But uh, they really didn't know where they was. And really didn't know where they was going because they never heard of this town. But they didn't know they was right outside of Orlando. So, you know, when the show started, it was kind of dead in there. And the promoter didn't really have all their money. So he was trying to get the money up. And, you know, when he got half of it up, you know, he gave some scrappy. And then the promoter was already weary of these dudes. And, uh... They was like, man, here I give you half of the money, man. Because, you know, I feel like y'all overcharged us for this show. You know, I don't think y'all scrappy, little scrappy, uh, worth 55, 6,500, man. You know what I mean? Probably 3,500, but not 65 because ain't that many people in the club. So, you know, they took the money and scrappy got on stage and started doing what he do. He started performing. He was putting on a good show, but the crowd really wasn't uh, cool with him. They wasn't getting along with him, so they started booing, and he kept rapping, and then they just knocked down the chandelier, you know, the uh, the club ball, and the lights started going off, and nigga threw a ball in his face and broke all his teeth out, and his gums fell out of his mouth, and he had to get get reconstruction surgery. He ended up getting the money from 50 Cent and he started his career over again. Peace of mind.